everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 4 video. The game has now officially released, it's not early access now. So all of your old DLC now comes over to Train Sim World 4. Um, which is exciting as it means you get extra services for routes. And as you can see at the moment we are in a 158 at Grantham. And it's not free roam. Uh, we are going to be covering, wow that hopefully... That one loud on the uh, on the mic there. Yeah, we're doing one Lima 04. So this is a Sheffield to Norwich service, um, and it just goes from Grantham to Peter. There's quite a few of them. There's a fair few of them actually. And if you also have got the Midland Main Line, well, you should have the Midland Main Line if you've got this train. You get um, a HST service, which is very exciting. Uh, right, uh, doors are still. Let's get all this um, set up. Uh, if I can work out which one was the AWS on here. Well, it's been a long time since we've driven this train. Uh, not that one. That one. Yeah, that's already on. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, let's get the door shut now. So we're heading down to Peterborough on this service. I'd imagine we'll be going on the slow line as well. Which I'd think so. Let's get that off as we've got the, uh, the green ahead. We got a guard? No, oh, maybe not. Maybe the guard feature doesn't work on uh, on this route. Oh no, it does. That's good. Lucky we didn't get going. I'm right. Let's go. Right, we're off. So yeah, exciting to well, just basically have a bit more to do on the East Coast Main Line, as it, there's not. I mean, there's still a fair bit to do, but there's not like. A lot and lots to do. Think you know, rush hour, Brighton Main Line, a thousand plus services. There's not this on. Well, there's not that on 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 here. It's, but it it makes it busier. So that's good, and it adds a bit more variety to it as well. Just apart from the Azuma, and the Shed, and the Flying Scotsman, if you've got Deluxe. So it does add to it, which is which is nice. And someone mentioned about the game audio being too quiet in the last uh, episode, so I'm going to turn it up for you. I hope that's not too noisy now. Probably too noisy now, won't it? So hopefully you can hear it maybe somewhat better. I mean, that basically is at max volume now. Cool. So yeah, hopefully you can hear it revving up. I hope it's not all too noisy now. Out we go. It's also nice the fact that Train Simul 3, well this the 158 is TOD sort of 4 compatible. Um, has the Midland Main Line uh, is a TSW 3 route, so it has the same stuff as the Train Simul 4 routes. Um, which is which is good. How many miles was it to Peterborough? 28 miles. Wow, okay. Non stop. But then when you sort of look at Google Maps of, of this area, God, that was, that was weird. That was, I mean, that was extremely loud going under the bridge there. I did, someone mentioned that, I think it was Tintin, um, 57. Go check him out. He mentioned the sound going literally way too noisy when you go under a bridge. So we might have to, I might mute it when we go under it's going to be hard to do it under every bridge. Just be careful. <laughs> be careful in your ears. There is an IET. Probably holding that where we were uh, we as we were coming out of Grantham. Nice. So, I mean, we're, we're not going to hit the max speed, which is uh, 115 at the moment. I mean, yeah, we're, we're not getting up to that speed. But we can add... Why can I see trees loading in? You see that? You can see it through the trees. There was another route where that happened as well. Oh, which one was it? it? Was I think it was... It might have been Glossop, actually, where it, it happened on there. But you can sort of see through the... You can see through the trees as they're sort of loaded. They're sort of invisible. I mean, what's that all about? It's really bizarre. I know it's like a new system they're using for the trees, but, I mean, it doesn't look fantastic, does it, really? 
show. Let's go ahead. There you go. Nice ambient sounds. I don't know if they're new ambient sounds, but they're pleasant. But if you look at Google Maps of this area, it's just so sparsely um, populated. <laughs> Yeah, I think after the tunnel at Grandpool, there's a tunnel a bit further up. I would imagine we'll probably be coming down to, um, or going on to the, um, the up slope. Can't imagine we'll be staying on the far side. And if we do, I'd be surprised. And yeah, uh, if you didn't hear, um, H the HST, uh, the VP1851 from Midland Mainline. It also comes over onto this route. It adds three extra services on uh, under the head code, well, a one Zulu head code. Um, it's a sort of special, almost like a rail tour in a way. Although I think it's some sort of relief uh, extra HST, which, uh, yeah, well, yeah, you, you'll see it. And it, it's realistic ish. Because I think um, LNER. Uh, actually did get some VP185s um, yeah I think uh, not for long or was it VTEC yeah I mean a HS2 on this route as LNR would be awesome because I think this route is set a few years back so it would be cool well, that was a double yellow, which yeah, I'm assuming is for us coming across um, after the tunnel. Which I don't know the speed limits on the slow line, but I can't imagine they're slow. I think I'm seeing 80 on there, so yeah, probably quite quick. So the distance we're going is basically Gatwick Airport all the way to Brighton. So, um, and more. so it's quite a, quite a distance. Um, we're travelling non-stop. That's a bit more you could do in the 158 though. Which doesn't have a destination. It, uh, it does, yeah, Peter, well, we're not, no, it doesn't go to, well, it does go to Peter, but we don't end there. Well, wait, wait, we end there, but the train goes on. Oh, well, that's, that's, um, let's mute that. That is extremely noisy. Seems a bit too noisy. I think they've got a bit overkill on the audio. In tunnel, so I'll, yeah, I'll just mute the uh, mute the game audio for you guys. Save your ears. It's probably approach. Yeah, it's approach control, isn't it? I like the way the tunnel's actually dark. On a lot of these routes, uh, I think even the mid the main line, you're going through the tunnel and it's just, it's still quite light. Tunnels are dark, <laughs> and this is really dark. So, good job on that. Right, let's, now we can undo that. <sighs> All good on the ears. I wonder if we're holding up anything. Mm, not yet. No, no we, we probably would, we, we would hold up that. But we're going on to the, uh, onto the slow line. At least that's what there we go. That, that's what it seems like. And we are. So we've got a position one on the junction indicator. So we are going to be going across onto the downs uh, up slope. So the up line is the one towards London. The down line is the one, well, going away from London. Too noisy the game. Yeah, see how that is. See with videos, it's like, uh, what's the correct audio of streams? I can just ask you guys. 70, well, 115 across those points. No, 125, I don't know about that. I didn't see a speedboard for the uh, points, but anyway, up to 75. I think it does go up to 80. Yes, at some point we're getting a zoomer flying past us. At 125, whilst we're dawdling along at 75. Nice. 
So we will get there. I can't remember what time I said we were due, and it was sort of sit, um, well, it was half hour or so. There's no clock in here, I don't think. No. And I think also, yeah, for someone said there's there's uh, some hyper networks that don't, that don't cast that were sitting there. So I think they're from Glossop. So if you have Glossop line ads in, I suppose background AI, so trains you can't actually drive. Um, I think yeah, I think they're a Doncaster. Uh, Midland Mainline adds a bit, uh, add, adds bits in actual services you can drive. So it's quite nice. Uh, sort of the more, the more things you can see and do. All right, 75 now. That's dawdling along. I think it's all downhill as well, so we've got to be uh, careful. Oh, well, put on, put on the brakes a little bit. The thing is, though, Midland Mainline or East Coast Mainline? Which do you prefer? I suppose the good thing about the Midland Mainline is uh, there's, well, is the only thing? there's. There's sort of more stations along the quadruple mainline track section. You know, you've got Loughborough, um, East Midlands Parkway. And that's well, that's about it. Apart from well, you've got what was it, the other one, Siston and Selby and Barrow upon Soul. There's a few more stations, I suppose. And it's still the same speed, it's just a lot shorter in the game. So I suppose a Midland mainline equivalent to this would be. What, Leicester to Bedford? I think that's quite sort of similar. Uh, you know, quite sparsely uh, sort of station wise. I think. scenery on the street. It's not, I wouldn't say it's the best scenery uh, I've seen on a UK route, but I mean it's still up to sort of the standards. Um, that was an 80. Sort of the usual standards. Yeah, 80. A little classic board for that. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the trees though. They sort of, yeah, they sort of load in sort of invisible to begin with, which is a bit peculiar. Visible trees. that audio is alright though. So now we turned it up a little bit as well on the uh, on the on the PlayStation. No not that one. I mean the horn puts it into yellow on the audio. So uh, I suppose that's probably all right. Doesn't go into red on my little audio bar. Oh, where's that IET? I'm waiting for it to whiz past us. It won't be far off, although it is there. It already looks smug sort of, as it comes down. I'll try and get a nice um, screenshot as well when it passes us. Probably go to photo mode. Yeah, sprinters on the on the main line. Might be long, there it is. Going at top speed, or we're just going along at about 80. We're not as cool as the Azuma. Bit slower. There is it. I'm, I'm sort of keeping an eye on it. It would be nice to try and get a nice little screenshot. So we're, we're getting there. Almost halfway. Hopefully it's just there at 80. There's that Azuma. It's getting ever so much quicker. I mean, that's going, that's going 45 over us. That shouldn't take long.
gay, perfect. Exactly where I want them to be. Ish. Uh, yeah, we don't need rotation on that. A little bit of saturation just to make it slightly brighter. More attractive. Uh, we really need to put any of that on. I suppose we could. Yeah, I suppose it makes it stand, stand out a bit more. There we go. Right, there we go. It's absolutely fine. Roaring past us. That's what we're doing to Peter much sooner. I mean, that, that takes 15 minutes to do. The pace that we take double the time. Back up to that. Was that one of the 75 at the end? It's hardly a corner right here. I am enjoying this photo mode though. Photo mode does make a world different for thumbnails. Yeah, you know, we can actually get things like that now, which we could only before get on train some classic. We can now get on train some as pause mode basically is your pause break on train some classic. Or just a bit more fancy things you can do. That's nice to have. I think these services run either every hour or every half hour. Uh, actually, what we'll do is once we get to Peterborough, if I remember in the next 10 minutes, uh, we'll go back to the menu and I'll show you what uh, what you get. So what services uh, you get. There's no scenarios or anything like that with the uh, 158, um, as it's not an East Coast mainline train. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a look to see what services uh, you, you get with it. So that's a, that's a fair, fair fee. River there. So there's not enough, um sort of vegetation on the side of that river and the water looks really sort of weird as well you know that on Nidatal barn where you've got all the reeds I know I know we're, I know we're going past it 80 miles an hour 125 if we're in the Azuma but still attention to detail like that um, yeah you know on Nidatal barn the rivers on there just look amazing uh, where you've got you know the reeds and sort of vegetation just lining the sides as you do with real rivers um, whereas on here it's a bit, well, just bland, there's, there's nothing there. And another thing which is missing on this route is limited clearance signs. Well, I, actually, no, tell a lie, there are some, but only on a very small portion of the route. I think it's literally just outside of Peterborough, and that's it. So, I mean, realistically, you'd probably have limited clearance signs, even though refuges all the way along the route. I mean, it's a national standard to have. Um, so I don't know why they're only on like, a, a really tiny part of the route. Maybe the person build. Maybe each person is allocated to each part, something like that. So one person did that, one person did that. So they're on one bit, but on the other, which is weird. Like, you'd, you'd probably have. You, you would. You would have a limited clearance sign on this bridge. might see some soon, there are some near Peterborough, but here we go, let's see here. So I don't know why they're, they're here, well, it's, it's, it's nice to see you on there, but they're not anywhere else. I think I think this is probably the most northerly one, there's no more anywhere, it's it's just this, and then a few more down the line on the signal, so it's like they're starting to put them there, and then they'll actually, ah, I can't remember two anymore, that's it, type them. So hopefully, you know, we can see a modders out there, I'll just dovetail, it will be cool to see limited clearance, no refuges, and modders, I'm sure there'll be an enhancement pack out or something for this route, put those signs in please, <laughs> now they are nice to see.
and the assets there. So I should be able to use it. It does baffle me how many level crossings there are and foot crossings on a quadruple track main line. It's like, what? Ow! What else are all the signs there? What the hell's down there? We can just use the photo mode. Oh, are they? They are signs I have never come across before. I wouldn't say that. That's not the reversible, uh, reversible speed, is it? Hmm, slow line, I don't know, what's going on up? Hmm. <laughs> might be to do, it might be to do a freight, maybe there's a, um, a yard, up. maybe there's some sort of form of stop marker. Yeah, there is some sort of yard here, so maybe that's for how many wagons you have, you know, 40 and 50. I don't know, I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know, because I've never seen those signs before. I call that they're in the game, sort of something new. S L U. Sure. Oh, shunt, shunt limit, shunt limit, maybe? Shunt limit. Or, I don't know. Shunt limit up? Yeah, it could be that. Shunt limit up. Because we are on the up line. Dynamic weather is it. I don't know if they have changed it, but it does feel a little bit better. Uh, like it doesn't change as often uh, as it did. Where it would be, you know, sunny, two minutes later, oh, thunderstorm, two minutes later, foggy. Oh, two minutes later, the fog just vanishes all of a sudden and it's sunny again. But you still get this, where sort of, well, I mean, it's not too bad, I suppose. I mean, there are still some clouds. It could be, yeah. It's like the water's been stretched in some way. It's a weird. So, yeah, we shouldn't be too far out now. I mean, it's been 24 minutes. I think the service was 28 minutes. So, uh, yeah, we, we can't be far off. So I wonder if the new rain effects affect this. I wonder if we get the new rain effects on here. I think we do. It does look like we do. I don't think that's just like they're being wiped off. Oh no, they are. Yeah, I think you do get the new rain effects. Doesn't look like it, possibly. Uh, yes. Oh, there's another Razuma. That number nine coach one. Hate doing the five coach ones, or sort of the five coach, then the units together. As the panto seems to only be up on one, which I actually have. Oh my, what is going on there? How? What have they done to you? Why, what, what's that all about? Why is that train? Uh, that's another thing I've seen mentioned as well. Is like a completely white train. It's like it's completely lost its livery or something. Yeah. Okay. Slightly bizarre to see, but uh, yeah, hey ho. Hopefully that will be sorted. It's 
some of these things I do wonder how that's got past testing. But then again, it might be as it's, uh, as the public build version might be, you know, broken. Might have worked in well, worked when they were testing and they've made it public, and then it's sort of stopped working. Maybe. The, um, the horn actually affects the air on there. That. That's probably the northern reaches of Peterborough. This is some sort of uh, building site, probably new houses. It's not that far out now. A nice little door door, a little stroll along the east coast main line, sort of going at 125. I suppose in the Scotsman you'd probably be doing the speed, wouldn't you? Sort of 75, 80 ish. That's interesting, what's that? Tunnel, ooh, hello. Have a little fly through, I want to see where that goes. Where that goes? Is that part of. What, where's that? What is that? Where does that go? I want to know. goes up that way. Uh, it goes up that way. Not too, is that part of the new maybe east-west rail? That could be that actually, yeah, it could, could be that. Yeah, it's not, it's not no, because that's snow. That's not the um, Peterborough to Ely line. I don't know where that one goes. I'm just trying to think. I can't think of where that. I need to have a look. I'm interested now. Where's that go? Was that like a, it looked quite new, so I suppose it might be a new underpass. Uh, where does that? Where do you go? So I'm sort of keeping an eye out whilst looking at Google Maps. That go. There's, there's any stations along there? there? Might be a freight line, maybe. Oh no, 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 there is a state of Spal Spalding. What says? Yeah, we're going a bit slow. That is trains to... Oh, well, no, hang on, that's part of the... Yeah, part of the East Midlands Railway Network. Seems to... But basically, just sort of almost mirror the East Coast Main Line, but be a bit further over. Oh, that's... Oh, well, that's noisy. Sleaford. Oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah, it uh, basically seems to mirror the East Coast Main Line. It sort of goes out a bit. How oh, interesting. Well, now we know where that goes. That goes up to Spalding, or Spalding, and then up that way. Yeah. But it's sort of rather new, that uh, fly under. So um, this would then, yeah, we should be coming across to the right, I think. Because, yeah, if, if we're set to go to Norwich, we would then go on the line from here to Ely, which we've got on Train Some Classic by um, Alan Thompson Sim. So we should, yeah, we should come over to the right. Because then we would then dive under. Dive under the East Coast Main Line, and then, yeah, head towards... Uh, uh, March, Mania, and then Ely, and then, well, then up towards Norwich. I think we are. Is that a position four junction indicator? I think it might be. It feels a bit weird sort of coming on the slow line. Oh no, it's just a, well, a, a, a route indicator, I suppose. Platform six we're coming into. Mm, no, surely that's on the far side. Must be on the far side. We are going to Norwich. Should be over there, shouldn't we? Oh, we're probably coming across now. 15 miles an hour. I don't think we'll be down for that. Actually, we might be. Just about ish. <laughs> that will do. 
I'm saying we've got to sort of come across and see the now or never. Well, that was fun. Not too sure about the fully white 158 though. That was happened there. Oh, and Thameslink as well. There is a few 700 services. Well, ECS moves, and I think don't get too excited. Uh, but yeah, a few ECS moves to the sidings you can do. That's just something, a little added bonus. There we go. Well, that was fun. There's that IET, which uh, we raced down. Aha, we got you, we, you know, even though you're here first, we still caught up. So we're looking out for the two coach stop marker. If it has a two coach stop marker. Which I think it does. I can see stop markers. I'm excited about it because on a lot of sort of routes like this, they don't bother putting stop markers in for sort of the platforms which you don't actually use, I suppose, in sort of the base. So it's nice to actually see they've they've implemented they put them in. There we are. Do the DRA. Oh, we can. There we go. That's fun. And set that to full service. Lovely. Yeah, nice to see that the, all the platforms are detailed, not just you know some. Look at that. Over to Horsham. That bit of 9J service. Many stations on there. That's about 2 hours and 50 minutes long, that service. What are you doing? Let us go and have a look at the thing. 32 minutes. Yeah, alright. I want to have a look at the photo mode. No, I don't want to be inside the train. Let me out. Oh, God, we're stuck in here now. Actually, we were going to have a look at the um, thingies, weren't we? At the. Uh, the services you get um, for the 158. So let's have a look. Yeah, slowly installing all the routes back. 158. Uh, so you get, yeah, they what they every every hour. Yeah, so you get a nice mix there of, of services you can do. Uh, and then for the 700, might as well look now. And for, for the HST as well, HST you get free services. That one Zulu, and for the 700, it's just the ECS moves, uh, which are rather cool to see. Uh, but that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, Merch Store, apart from that. Thanks for coming in, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.